Hi there, I'm Linda and I'm dropping by to wish you a lovely celebration by whatever name you call it and whenever you celebrate. I also want to give you a quick tour of my new apartment. Some of you know that I moved out of a 29 year long relationship in November. It's been a lot of hard work to get things done, preceded by a ton of stress, but now I'm here and most things are the way they should be in this place. There are still a few things missing or that need fixing, like the car. But it will get done when I have the funds for it. The apartment is in the nearest town to where I used to live. The town has just over 2,200 people of the just over 6,000 in this municipality. And it's the center of the municipality. It's a good size apartment, but it's a bit worn. In the contract, I'm responsible for indoor maintenance, so I am able to add putty and paint where needed. The living room is where I spend most of my time. The gray bed is usually occupied by Bonzo, my dog, but he wasn't here when I took these photos. He was visiting at the old house. I've hung some of my photos and paintings and I plan to hang two drawings on the wall above the cupboard. As far as eel goes, I've put up the few decorations we have here. I have a gnome, some glitter and baubles, and a Thor's hammer light thing that my daughter and I made earlier this month. There's a balcony to the south and another to the north by the front door. The kitchen took a lot of work and heavy lifting. When I moved in, there was a fridge, freezer, and a range here that was left by the previous occupants. But the range didn't work, and the fridge freezer was way too hot to keep food safe. The first week, I had to use a hot plate that I had to rush into the city and buy on the first day, which was a Saturday, so not everything was open. I got a used fridge freezer from a town nearby after a couple of weeks. I replaced the range after a very long drive at night, but it turned out that one of the plates and the oven didn't work on that one either. I kept searching for one that was used and worked, but I had to give in and get a brand new one so I could have a warranty and so I would have one that I knew would work. That took a chunk of the budget, but it was one of the cheapest ones out there. It's good that we have two doors for the entrance so that Thomas doesn't escape. He doesn't like being outdoors, but he uh, really tries to get out the door when he can. By the front door there's also storage space. The stairs to the lower floor are steep. Bonzo won't even try to go down to the lower floor and he really doesn't like when he can't get to us. On the lower floor we have three bedrooms, bathroom and the laundry room. We've decided to use one of the bedrooms for art and crafts. It's good to have a designated space for all of that stuff. At first there was a closet in here that the previous occupants left. But after loading it with my fabric, we, div we discovered that it was threatening to collapse. So I tore it down, delivered it to the recycling place, and replaced it with a shelf that's there now. The dresser was there when we moved in, and the shelf with the paint, paper, and yarn was in my bedroom. I just moved it in here instead. This is my room. I keep my witchy stuff in here in those two small dressers and a small bookshelf. I didn't bring any of the herbs and oils because number one, they're too old and they should be replaced. Number two, they take up too much room. All of the booklets of gathered info are in the storage shed that I've rented in town. As you can see, one of the walls is a giant wardrobe. It definitely needs a paint job. I'm not a fan of brown. The bathroom is small, but it works for us. I'm going to plug all of the screw holes with silicone later. And this is my daughter's room. I'm not going to talk too much about that. It's her private room. The laundry room is actually a good size, but hasn't been done anything to for many years. 
I hope you and yours will have a wonderful celebration. Stay safe and well, and spend some time with those who can spend time with, within the rules. This pandemic will pass.